This file demonstrates the rename, sort, and submit file management exercise. Step one is to copy the folder from the O drive and paste it into your M drive. So we could open a file explorer window and you could open it by clicking your file explorer icon on the taskbar and then navigating to the O drive. But I want you to notice that your desktop has a handout shortcut. This little arrow means this is a shortcut to go straight to the handout. So when I double click it, this will open and display the contents of the handout drive. You can see the O drive is the handout drive and it brought us straight there. The next thing that you need to do is I would like you on your File Explorer window if the ribbon is not expanded to click this icon so that the ribbon will expand and stay open. It won't keep disappearing on you. Next you're going to come to the very top folder here, Fun Computers, and you're going to double click it. And that will open the Fun Computer folder. You can see that that's where we've navigated to from the O drive into the Fun Computer folder. And you see that there is a rename, sort, and submit exercise here. And what you're going to do is you're going to right click on that folder and you're going to then come to the pop-up list and click the word copy. Now it is copied to a place called the clipboard which is a memory, uh, a place, a storage place in the memory of the computer. You're going to navigate to your M drive come over to the navigation pane here on the left side, click your M drive, and I'm going to just quickly go into my junk drive. Okay, yours will probably be empty or perhaps just has a few folders in it like documents and pictures. That's okay, just leave those there. On an empty spot in this content pane, which is over here, you're going to right click and then you are going to click on the word paste. And the folder should appear, and it does appear, and it's blue to show that it it's, was selected. We want to rename this folder. And the way we're going to do it, there's a few ways, but we're going to go to the Home tab on the File Explorer window, we're going to click the rename command, which is found in the organize group. So we're going to click it. Our name of our folder turns blue. And you don't want to type now or this whole name will go away. You will have deleted it. I want you to look down on your keyboard and over near the right hand side there is a key called END, E-N-D. Just press it and your cursor will go to the end of that folder name. Then on your key keyboard press the space bar to have a space and then you're going to put your name, type it, and then to finish it you can press the enter key on your keyboard or you could have, once it was finished, you could have just clicked onto an empty spot in this content pane. And now you have a folder with a new name. The next step is to rename the files inside the folder. So uh, this is the folder that we're working with. I just clicked it once to show you. I'm going to now go to the View tab and for this exercise, we do not want to see our file names. It's easier to change file names if the extensions are turned off. And in my case, there is no check here, so I'm good to go. 
Now I'm going to open this folder. And I'm going to open the folder with a double click. And I want you to notice after I double click it, that up here in the path bar, this shows us the path we've taken and what we're working in. We're working in this animals folder that's inside my junk folder, not for you. For you, it will be in your M drive. And next, we are going to rename these, but first, to rename them, we don't even know what's in them. And the slow way is to open them. Uh, one way we could do that I don't have written down is we could actually put our preview pane on, and that probably would have been a good thing to uh, actually mention since we practiced it. So there's a raccoon. Uh, but let's pretend the preview pane isn't on. And let's change to large icons. And then we can also see uh, the contents of our file. So this time we're going to work with it that way. Now we're going to rename each file. So I can do it one of two ways. I can right click and I can click rename. Or I can click the file. I can come to the home tab and click rename. Gets us to the rename uh, mode. Now in this case we do not want to keep this. Now we don't have to go press our delete key. All we need to do, I want you to learn a good habit, all you need to do is start typing and that existing name will disappear. So we'll name this something descriptive like raccoon. And to finish the rename process I'm going to press enter. And immediately the file moves place it moves a uh, position because we've started this starts with an R and you can see our images are named or our pictures are named in alphabetical order so here's the eyes first and then here's one called pick one so that's P and raccoon is at the end now I can rename all of them uh, at one you know do a rename, 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 and then sort them. Or I could sort as I go. So this raccoon picture is going to be in the mammal folder. So I'm going to drag it in there. And drag means that I click and hold my left mouse button on this file. And then I move my mouse. And when you see mammals, it turns blue underneath there and it also tells me that I'm moving to mammals and I'll let it go. And you can see it's disappeared from here because we've moved it inside this folder. I will prove that to you. I will open this folder and you can see there is the raccoon file. Now to come back to this folder, there's a few ways. Right now, I'll just show you this one. Just This is our path. These are like little bricks that built our path. Let's just go back one step to this one. And now we're back into this um, folder with the content showing. And you will continue to rename each one of these files and then you're going to move it and sort it. So for example, the fish will come into the fish folder, birds into the bird folder. And that's how you will do a rename um, and sort function.